Well, just listen to the welcome for Georgie Connect. Celtic are really going about the job here. Goal difference could be crucial. Here's the new boy coming through. A chance on here for the third for Celtic is Cadet. He's done it all by himself, but he has. That's what the Celtic supporters wanted. George Cadet displaying his goal scoring prowess. Another goal made in Europe. Tom showing great pace, and there's Cadet. He sneaked it in, and a new hero in the Portuguese striker, Jorge Cadet, scoring within the first minute. Andreas Tom through to Cadet, and Cadet tucks away his fifth goal in just six appearances. The ball comes across, Jorge Cadet, that is a Zabab strike. When the ball hits the net, it is Jorge Cadet. He puts one over on his former club, a beautiful cross and a pinpoint header. Vic Horst helped the ball on, and Jorge Cadet repaid Celtic's faith in him with what turned out to be the winning goal. Di Canio, Celtic now the counter and they could punish Kilmarnock here, here's Cadet, this could sell it all. 3-1 to Celtic, George Cadet, the maker of the opening two goals, the scorer of the third. From a corner at the other end, Alawa were under aerial attack and Brian O'Neill's header set up George Cadet. Tom's pass released substitute Morton Vickhorst and he squared it for Cadet to slot in his second. The Portuguese striker completed his hat-trick 18 minutes from the end after Peter Grant's pass had opened up the Alloa defence. Route 1 to goal and Celtic 5-1 winners. Now it's Van Hoydon. Andreas Tom. The penny is the far side. Cadet's there as well! 2-0! Here's the canny for Celtic. Cadet's through the middle. Van Hoydonk to the far side, Tom's there in support. Cadet! And Celtic take the lead. And it's the Portuguese, Georges Cadet. Great pace, round Westwater. Into the back of the net. And oh, it's in from Cadet! Straight back in, which he does, that's Phil O'Donnell. And Cadet, but there's no right to flags up. Flags up. Oh, I tell you what, that's not offside. That is not offside. But they didn't go three up until late on in the second half. Cadet scored it. Cadet flicked it on. Van Hoydonk picked him out. And the tap in to make it four. The Portuguese start claims his and Celtic's first. Classic one effort that. Celtic made it three here. Cadet again monopolising on more sluggish defensive work. And on the final whistle, Cadet collected his hat trick. But by that time, the Killy players were probably dreaming of the M77. And Simon Donnelly's shot pushed past Rousset by George Cadet. 1 0 Celtic. McStay returns the ball, great control. And Cadet scores with ease. The Portuguese star has scored seven goals in his last three games. And no prizes for guessing who got Celtic back on level terms. Georges Cadet bulleting home his 21st goal of the season. McQuilkin stumbling there and Chris Hayes in. And that man George Cadet did the rest. Ian McFarlane couldn't hold Van Hoydonk's shot and George Cadet was there to cash in. The pass to Cadet was weighted to perfection and he needed just one touch to beat Ian McFarlane. This time, Paolo Di Canio broke down the right. He laid the ball off to Van Hoydonk and his perfectly floated chip was met by the head of Cadet, his 25th goal of the season. Di Canio sent through George Cadet, who did his job, but linesman Cami Melville ruled the goal offside. Look here though, when the pass was made, Cadet was level and so was onside. A new TV evidence would show him to be right. The Rovers were finally killed off with just 10 minutes left. Paolo Di Canio to Cadet, and he puts the ball in the net. Celtic 2, Wraith Rovers 0. Well, Donnelly did brilliantly there. Here's Di Canio. Cadet, the opening goal! Di Canio finds Tom. 
The hooks cross for the Cadets! Here's a chance now for George Cadet. He lifts it over the goalkeeper. And he turns on side. And it's George Cadet who finishes it off. Long one down the slope. It comes off the head of McLaughlin. A chance on for Cadet! Celtic take the lead. A bad mistake.